Welp, it's finally here. We have the Stick By, uh, Stick By movie set, the final one, and it's finally came here in this, might I say, sweet looking package. It's nice with the Zinc Store sticker on it, all the way on the back, and I opened it a little bit already, so let's go ahead and start. So, get that out of here. And yeah, whoa, this is really nice package. First thing I see is stadium lid. Green screen and look at all them stick butts. Whoa, that is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Just because it comes with that. Is this it? I guess it didn't actually come with like the box package. Hmm. Okay, instructions. And this is mainly it right here. Oh my goodness, this is so big, I can't even, it takes up the entire screen. Okay, let's get that box out of here. Oh, upside down. So yeah, it gives you the instructions, I guess there's this big thickness of foam, and I guess we gotta put it together, so let's do it. Alright, so let's open these pets. Okay, don't do that, that's gonna, that's gonna break them, that's a bad idea. Okay, here are all of the stick bots and stick bot pets and stick bot minis and all that stuff that are included. We get tons of animals and stuff in this set. We've got cow, one cow, one horse, two dogs, one cat, two bunnies, two chickens. Uh, we've got two stick bot minis or kids or babies. And we've got two normal stick bots, they're translucent, which is actually interesting. I don't see these. You never see translucent stick bots very often. And of course, a panda, because pandas belong in farms. Yeah. And we also get this tripod here, which is just like any other ordinary stick bot tripod. Now, this one doesn't come with the little uh, rubber rubber bottoms, which is a little bit interesting. I don't know why it didn't come with that. But it kind of sticks okay, or it's kind of fine on this smooth surface. Maybe it's not, I don't know. And of course, we've got all these accessories. So next we've got all of these props and extra accessories that you can add onto your stick bot. We've got this hat, we've got some screwdriver, hammer, a saw, I still don't know what that is, a hoe, shovel, or I forgot what that is. We got this little rake. We've got this awesome wiring can, this ladder, this mini shovel, and these shears. And these shears are actually awesome because they look like they're just a normal toy, like it's made like this, but they actually move, which is awesome. I don't think I've seen any uh, accessories, stick bot accessories that move, so you can actually have them cutting bushes down, which is awesome. And all you gotta do to use these is just Get one of these little white pins, put them on the suction cup like this, and there you go. Now your stick bot can use all these accessories, so you can give it this hammer, and there you go. You can also give it this awesome hat, and, huh. okay, wait, how do I get it? Let's just do like that. Oh, okay, this hat is not very, uh... Doesn't seem to be wanting to be cooperating, but I guess it's kind of loose. There we go. Stick bot hammer farmer guy. And of course, we're gonna use all the other weapons. We've got the little uh, screwdriver. And it comes with three of these, so. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. There's actually four of these clips because my brother had stolen this green stick bot. There's one clip, two clip, three clip, four clip. One, two, three, four clips. Enough for two stick bot hands each or a panda. Because a panda is terrifying with this thing. That's pretty much, I think that's all you need. You can put two on both hands or give one to a friend. Such as this stick bot baby here or me. And then it can help around at the barn with this water can. And then got a saw. Nice. This huge hoe. Cool. Could be used as a uh, mini golf puck as well. Got this ladder, which 
I don't think it can clip on. Not really. This ladder is very small as well, so it's literally the size of half the stick bot, which is about the size of a mini bot, so it's mainly going to be a decoration or a background thing. I don't think stick bots could use it. We've got this mini shovel. Awesome. This big break. Nice. The shovel. The big shovel. And what else we got? This thing. Yeah, there we go. We got a full stick bot farmer guy, I guess. So yeah, there we go. That's how the stick bot accessories work. Stay on the stick bot hat. There we go. Okay, good. So yeah, stick bot accessories. That's how all those work. So now we got to build the stick bot set. And also, you guys notice that this little patch over here of grass is actually in the shape of a stick bot with all the flowers. I like that feature, which is awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and start building this thing because let's do it. Yeah. So here is the completed Stickbot movie set. Now this felt like it took forever, even though it was 20 seconds for you guys in the time lapse. Stay up. But this is the entire thing, and this thing is huge. Like, it almost takes up the entire table, but or it takes up most of the space that I have to record. So it's very huge, and there's a ton of stuff. We got the big barn, all these cars, tables, all these crops, these trees and animals and we're gonna look at all the stuff right now but first we kind of gotta remove all these guys out of the way so no. you 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 can stay you guys gotta go and you can stay and yeah all right now we're ready to start and here are these two stick butt cars that you get in this set now these cars are both buildable and they're made out of foam, and you just gotta connect all the pieces. That's how basically you build everything. You just like connect a couple of foam pieces together and you'll get it done. And there's two kinds there's this truck right here, and then this tractor RV looking thing. And the truck is awesome because it comes with storage to put all your crops that you've harvested back here into the back. And also, I don't have any space for those crops anyway, so that's a good place to put them. And there's, I guess, stick bot back here. There's some lights, there's a steering wheel, and there's room for the stick bot to actually drive the car. You just gotta put him in like this, and oh, stay down, leg. And there you go. Stick bot is driving his new car. And now the wheels aren't actually, because everything's made out of foam, the wheels are made of fo foam as well, so. It does not actually move like a real thing, but that's a good thing in an animator's perspective. So that way, it won't accidentally roll around when you're animating. So you can just go click, 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 and you'll get the idea. So that's good. And then we got this right here, which is my, my favorite vehicle. And that's fine. Stick what to put in there. Here we go. There we go. These are really nice and detailed and. They kind of got these little things poking up every once in a while, but they do a really good job trying to hide it as well and blend it in. As you can see, the yellow bit right here and the black, they're all blending in. The red, you could probably color one of these to look like a mirror or something like that. And if this bothers you too much, you can always, like, I guess cut it off a little bit. Just not too much to the point that it'll fall off. So yeah, those are the cars, and these look awesome. I hope we see some more of these. And some more stick bot sets in the future. We're gonna have a race, look at that. Race video in the making. And next we've got these little gardens of specific vegetables. And I've got two of them right here. This one comes with carrots. This one has tomatoes. And the cool thing about this is that you're actually meant to pick these out. And there you go, you've got a carrot now. And you can feed it to a uh, chicken. I'm not sure. But you can take these out and put them... Oh, great. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, blooper. Beep. 
And you can put the carrot in that truck right there. And there's also many different kinds of fruits and vegetables. It comes with a ton of different kinds. So instead of carrot field, it could be a broccoli field. Or instead of carrots, it could be watermelon. And that one actually doesn't fit, actually. Wait. Watermelon, upside down. Or, instead of a tomato, it could be an onion. I think this is an onion. Or, instead of a tomato, it could be a pumpkin. Or, for some reason, if the logic decides to define nature, instead of a carrot, you can plant oranges in the ground. Or, you can put apples. Because apples and oranges grow in grounds and totally don't have any place to put on these trees here, so... Well, apples, apples and oranges obviously grow on trees. You can put them in here if you want, though, because you can't really hang them up. But maybe you can make it look like they pick it off a tree in an animation. And once you're done with all of your little fruits, you put them in a truck or this wagon that uh, it also comes with. You can put all of it in here. And then you can get a stick butt horse or cow to tow it like this, so... I think this is the way you do it. You just kind of put their tail to get to this little bit right here. And there you go. They can carry it off to wherever it needs to go. And that's all the vegetables and fruits. Pretty neat. And now for the main deal, which is the barn right here. And comes with some movable doors, which can open like this. It's got some windows. It's got some trees on the side. And a whole load of hay on the other side. On the inside... There's actually a lot more in there. It's kind of dark, but you can see... Maybe I can take the roof off just to make this easier. Let's just do that real quick. And there, so this is the inside. And you can see that there's a lot of stuff. There's like a little kitchen area right here. They got potions in this farm, which is a little suspicious. They got a tea, some tea and a bunch of other stuff. A towel, a cup, some plates. This side, there's some barrels, and a lamp, and also a broom, and the set also comes, this set comes with these little mini benches, which have stick butts on the side of them, and also tables right here, so you can eat your vegetables and cabbage. I forgot to mention cabbage is also a fruit that you can change out with the little farm. So you can just have a little table right here, or I think this would make the best spot. Then you can put all your food on there, a bench, and Stuckbot can now eat inside of his barn. All of the hard-earned crops can be eaten here or just taken off to another uh, company just to sell and make money, even though the farmers work so hard for it. But hey, people will do anything for money. So you can just close the barn up, put the roof back on. Good. Let's just do that. And there, you've got a barn. Which is awesome. And there's also this big blue screen or green screen that turns into a blue screen, but this is so big I can't really tell you. It's bigger than the normal Studio Pro. I suppose you can put it in the back like this. That sort of works. It's not gonna cover the entire thing, but. Hey, if you want an upgrade, there you go. Simple little fix in case you your little Studio Pro is not big enough. So it's handy, but I don't think it's, I'm going to use it for animating with this farm. I might as well just print out a bigger, bluer sky. But yeah, that's another feature. And also a couple of other things I want to tell you. Here's this little poster here, and there's a little a couple of interesting details here. We see a bunch of pictures of all the stick pets, but notice that this stick chicken and rabbit look suspiciously translucent. Could this lead to a possible leak in translucent chickens and bunnies? I honestly hope not because these little things look adorable and I don't really want a translucent, but maybe it'd be cool, I don't know. Chicken, solid, or solid chickens and bat rabbits and solid, uh, and translucent rabbits and chickens. Of course, we still have no idea when the solid horse, cow, and pandas are coming out, so that'll, that's something to look forward to. One last thing at the bottom here, 
we can see the Stickbot and Stickbot Jr. And yeah, right there, I just said it. Whoops. This, this, the mini bot's name, official name is Stickbot Jr. It's not Stickbot Mini. It's not Baby Bot. It's not Kid Bot. It's Stickbot Jr. So that's an interesting fact there. I had no idea. And also, one more thing. This Stickbot, his name is Stickbot, and has clothes on. Now, there's one unfortunate thing. I've been looking all over in my package, but for some reason, I can't find the clothes unless my, uh, the Pro Edition or the Collector's Edition of the Stickbot, uh, movie sets don't come with the clothes. I don't know what to do. I can't find any of the Stickbot sticker clothes that comes with it. I've looked in the box, and I've looked in the instructions, and I haven't been able to find any of it. So that's kind of disappointing. If you get the Collector's Edition, you might not get the... Uh, sticker clothes, so that's a very bad thing, and I guess I'll have to get another Stickbot Barn set, the normal version, not the collector's edition, if I want to get the clothes, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't think this early version will come with clothes and anything, so I'm gonna have to get it in the box, and just wanted to let you guys know that you may not, that I don't think the clothes include, because if you look on the shelf, I don't think it includes clothes, even though there are Stickbots that show clothes and stuff. But yeah, no clothes here, which is unfortunate, so... Whoops. Oh well. One last feature that this uh, Stickbot movie set comes with, though, is that not only can it be spring, but it can also be to autumn, which is super awesome. As you can see, the basically the floor can flip upside down and it'll reveal this fall version of the Stickbot barn set. And you can also... Get the trees and change them colors like this. So you just gotta flip them over and you can change the looks. And yeah, this is a farm movie set, but in the fall, so you can make it so you can show an evolution of the farm. It starts out in spring with them planting the crops, and then they harvest it all in fall, which is awesome. So yeah, guys, that is gonna be it for this review. I hope you liked it, and if you wanna buy a stick bot, movie set like the farm one that I show you here if you can get the you want the deluxe version the one that I got here you can go to the zing store to buy that that one is the one that comes with all the stick pets I don't believe it comes with any of the clothes but if you just want if you're new to stick bot and don't have any of the pets or just want the vehicles and the set and the green screen thing then you can buy that you if you want or you can wait if you've already got stick bot pets you can wait and They'll be out, supposedly, It's gonna. they're going to come out this month, and you can find them in store. It'll come with only, like, one or two stick bots, though, so it won't come with all the pets. But it will come with the sticker clothes and everything else, all the cars, the playsets, and the action pack weapons and gear and stuff, accessories. So, yeah, and I will review the, the non-deluxe version of the farm just to get the clothes and... I'll be reviewing the non-deluxe version of the pirate ship as well as soon as I find those in store. So yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this review. If you like, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also subscribe to the chicken guy because he's almost at a thousand subs and I kind of want to help him out. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye.